Good day, everyone. In behalf of our group, we proudly present our research entitled Best Practices of the University of the Caldilleras College of Criminal Justice Education Faculty Members. I am Tabayagli T. Manot. I am Antonio Magangat Jr. As we all know, within the Philippines, University of the Cordilleras, College of Criminal Justice Education, remains as the top performing criminology school within the past 23 consecutive school years and for 45 consecutive criminologists licensure examination. One of the reasons why the university became as such is because of the best practices employed by its faculty members. The purpose of the study is to determine what are the best practices employed by the faculty members of the UCCCGE that makes it a top performing school. The result of this study could help educational institutions as a basis on what practices they can apply in order for their students to improve and to achieve positive results. Methods and materials. These chapters, we present our research design, population and local of the study, data gathering procedure, and the treatment of data and data gathering tool. Firstly, we have our research design. In this study, we utilize qualitative approach through appreciative inquiry. And according to Schwab, Sharp, Judkins, and Hederington, 2009, Appreciative inquiry is a new theory which takes positive approach to organizational development. It aims to identify good practices, design effective development plans, and ensure implementation. And for the purpose of this study, we use appreciative inquiry because the main focus of our study is to look into the best practices of the University of the Caldilleras College of Criminal Justice Education faculty members. Furthermore, appreciative inquiry relies on interactive techniques such as group discussions and interviews. Another is that we, the researchers, utilized proposive sampling whereby we find people who can and are willing to provide information by virtue of their knowledge or experience. And according to Ethican 2016, proposive sampling focuses on people with characteristics who will be able to assist with the relevant research. Population and locale of the study. The study has been conducted at University of the Caldilleras College of Criminal Justice Education Department at Legarda Road, Baguio City. In the second semester and third trimester of the school year 2020 to 2021, we, the researchers, have chosen the UCCCJE faculty members as participants because the University of the Caldilleras has been a consistent top performing school in the criminology's licensure examination. And it also has been designated by the Commission on Higher Education as a center of excellence. Thus, a center of excellence, it is expected to provide the best training and or support and best practices in teaching to which we, the researchers, are trying to find. The UCCJE faculty members composed of part-time and full-time teachers. However, the inclusion criteria for the study is that the participant should have at least teach in the university for, for five consecutive years. The inclusion criteria is utilized to get a reliable, consistent, and uniform data for this study. Data gathering tool. For our data gathering tool, we use survey questionnaires for our participants, the, the faculty of the University of the Cordilleras College of Criminal Justice Education faculty members. And for the interview, the interview is utilized and it is directed to the students for our triangulation in treating our data. Data gathering procedure. Firstly, we the researchers send a communication letter to our college dean, Dr. Cherry Ann A. Cabarubias, and to our research advisor, 
prosecutor Ruby Lorraine Lictaw. And after the approval of our communication letter, we conducted a survey by creating an e-document containing our questions that is sent via email accounts of our participants. Treatment of data. In treating our data, we use thematic analysis. And thematic analysis is applied to set of texts such as converting speech to text word by word. And we examine those data to identify repeated common themes, topics, ideas, and patterns. And according to Caulfield 2020, it is an appropriate approach in qualitative research where the researchers are trying to find out something about people's view, opinions, knowledge, experiences, or values from a set of qualitative data examples. Here in the thematic analysis, it is used to analyze the data from participants. And triangulation method, it is utilized to increase the credibility and valid validity of our research findings, wherein we, we use the, the data that we gathered from interviewing the students to, to triangulate with the data from our participants in who are the faculty members. We go now to the results and discussion. This chapter presents the findings based on the best practices of faculty members of the University of the Cordilleras College of Criminal Justice Education. In terms of best teaching strategies of the participants, it includes providing an assessment. Here it includes the faculty giving quizzes and recitations to the students as part of their teaching strategies, keeping students' attention. Paraphrastic approach. Here, in paraphrastic approach, the faculty use layman's term in order for the students to understand more the topic and the use of Filipino language in order to understand more what the topic is all about. Simplified discussion, providing lots of examples relevant to the topic, use of visual aids, teacher-centered learning. Participants include teacher-centered learning as part of their teaching strategies. The concept of this is that the teacher takes full responsibility in providing instruction and materials to the students. Next is the student-centered learning. It is somehow the opposite of the te teacher-centered learning, wherein here the students takes full responsibility to study and to learn. In terms of best classroom management practices of the participants, it includes preparing the lesson ahead of time, course orientation, motivating students, having a positive classroom atmosphere, and setting up classroom rules. In terms of best practices of the participants in evaluating their students' knowledge and understanding, this includes formative assessment, summative assessment, and outcome-based assessment. The, com the concept of the formative assessment is that the faculty gives recitations and quizzes on almost a daily basis. While in summative assessment, the, the faculty gives exam during the last day of midterms and finals in order to find out the knowledge of students the whole term. Lastly, outcome-based assessment. This includes the application on how the students apply what they learned in real-life situations with the guidance of the faculties. Thank you for listening. That's all.